Hey everyone! Today, I'm going to walk you through how to use fonts in PE Design 11. They've added the feature for font mapping, and be sure to stick around until the end because I'll also share a much easier method. Once you've got the files, it's time to unzip the folder. There are two simple ways to do this. One, you can right-click on the zip folder and select Extract All. Two, or you can open the zip folder and just drag and drop the contents to wherever you want them. Both methods work, so choose the one that feels easiest for you. Next up, now to map your letters into the brother system, you'll need to copy a folder. So find the folder you want to map, right-click on it, and select Copy. Then head over to your C, Drive, and find the Program Files x86 directory. Inside there, you'll see a folder called Browser and another one named My Fonts. Just paste your folder into the My Fonts folder and you're good to go. So, I've copied the folder here. Since there are a lot of other formats that you don't need, we're going to remove the extra formats and keep only the PES format. Go ahead and open your PE Design 11 program. Over on the right-hand side, you'll see a menu in the top right corner that says, Import Your Own Fonts. That's where we're headed next. So this is a bit of a longer process, and it's something I've been using. But honestly, it's out of my hands. It's all based on how the developers of the browser software set things up. So you've copied your folder into the browser area, and now we can begin the mapping process. To do this, you'll open up PE Design 11. This mapping process only works in PE Design 11. The other features I've shown you, like easily connecting letters, also work in PE Design 10, PE Design Next, and even some older versions. But for now, let's stick to PE Design 11. Once you're in the program, you'll open Font Creator and find the folder you just copied. That's where we'll start. Now, at the top menu, you'll see the letter A. Click on Import One by One, and from the drop-down list, select the letter you need. Hit Import, and close the window. Then, move on to the next letter by clicking on the arrow next to A. Again, select the Import One by One option, choose the next letter from the drop-down list, import it, and repeat this process with the following letters one letter at a time. You can also see what you've already imported by clicking on the down arrow next to the letter A and checking what letters have been imported so far. It's a really long process, and honestly, I've never used it and wouldn't recommend it. But this is what the browser software offers. Stay tuned, because next, I'll show you how to make this process much easier by using the drag and drop method. This is the third option or the import function, which is the second option. But for now, let's keep going with our font, importing each letter one by one. Start with uppercase letters, then move on to lowercase. With some patience, your font will eventually be ready. When your font is ready, the next step is to save it. To do this, just click on the Save button and give your font a name. I recommend using the same name as the folder for easy reference later, but feel free to name it whatever suits your workflow. It's completely up to you. Once you've named it, hit Save. 
and your font will be stored. Before moving on, though, you'll need to restart the program. I forgot to mention this earlier, but after saving your font, it's essential to restart PE Design so that the new font gets properly loaded into the system. This way, it'll show up in the font list when we're ready to use it. So don't skip this step. Restart the program. After restarting PE Design, go ahead and open the program back. Go to the menu and select Text, then Custom, and finally, Monograms. If everything went smoothly, you should see your newly created font listed in the options. Now you can start using it in your projects. Oh, when you see your font in the list, you're ready to start using it. Simply select it, type your text, and watch as your custom letters appear right on the screen. It's that easy. Your font is now fully integrated and you can start incorporating it into your designs. However, I should mention that, unfortunately, you can't change the colors of the letters using this method. So let's move on and take a look at option two, which might offer a bit more flexibility. Move on to option two. Start by selecting the import function from the top menu. You can also find this function in the right-hand side menu under import from folder. Next, locate your folder on your computer. This is usually in downloads and in the unzipped folder. You can move your folder to any other location that's convenient for you. In fact, I recommend setting up a completely separate folder just for fonts on your computer. Once you've organized everything, simply navigate to that folder. Now select the PES files from the folder. You'll see all your letters appear in the right-hand side menu. So, how does this work? You just double click on a letter and it will instantly appear on your workspace. Alternatively, you can click on a letter once and then press import at the bottom. It's up to you. Import the letters you need for your design. Once the letters are imported, you can move them around on your workspace as needed. And voila, here's the best part. In this option, you can actually change the colors of the letters. It's super easy. Just go to the colors menu and select a different color for each letter if you want to. This gives you a lot more creative freedom. And now, option three. It's the quickest and easiest method. Just drag and drop. This option will save you time and effort, making it the most convenient of all. For this method, you'll need to go back to your unzipped folder. Inside that folder, locate the specific letters you need for your design. Hold down the Ctrl key on your computer while selecting multiple letters to grab all the ones you need at once. Once you've got them selected, simply drag and drop them directly into your program onto the blank workspace. All of your selected letters will be imported into the program at once. And just like in option two, you'll have the ability to change their colors as needed. It's a quick and efficient way to bring your design to life. So there you have it, three different ways to use fonts in your program, laid out just as easy as one, two, three.